Vanessa Raymakers, welcome and thank you for taking time to talk to me. You and I have uh, known each other for some time now. I think I first met you when you were a PSW at Extended Care in Lakefield, where my mother was, and I saw firsthand the kind of talent that you have, and I'm so proud that you're a Fleming grad now. But it's been tough. This pandemic has been tough, and I remember at the very early days, you were one of the few uh, students that went to the hot spots in Toronto. Uh, tell us a little bit about that experience. So that, um, that was the craziest thing I've ever done. Um, I was asked to go work in a long-term care home in Toronto that was experiencing a pretty severe COVID-19 outbreak in the beginning of the pandemic. And um, there was over a hundred cases and, you know, unfortunately there was a lot of sad situations. I was there with two now really good friends of mine. And it was an incredible experience. I was gone for four weeks and it was very, very difficult being away from my spouse and my family and just being in a new city that I hadn't been in before and seeing firsthand how bad this pandemic actually was and how bad it got so quickly. Um, but when I came home, you know, I would I would do it again tomorrow if they asked me. It was an incredible opportunity to go. And how did you cope with that just emotionally, your own mental health? How did you how did you manage? Um, it was tough. There were days, you know, in the four weeks that we were gone, um, we had one day off and, you know, we leaned on each other while we were down there. And then when we came home, we we still talked almost every day and then you know it was it was difficult being at home definitely for the first couple of weeks you know my spouse he had to work 12 hour days he was gone so i was by myself at home and it was it was really hard um just working through all those emotions and working through everything that we seen and everything that we did while we were down there it was a it was really difficult and it was a good time for me to reflect on everything that had happened. And thankfully my parents, you know, when I came home, they're wonderful. Um, you know, they bought me <laughs> this big load of topsoil and helped me plant a garden in the front of our house to see, you know, my mom said, you need, you need to see something beautiful grow out of what you've been through in the past month. So that was a big a big thing for me and, and helped me cope through that. Wow, that's remarkable. What lessons or advice would you have for students or colleagues to help cope through these kinds of situations? What what would your advice be? Um, reach out, you know, talk about it. Just keep those lines of communication open. If you if you feel that you're struggling, there's so many resources now um, through the college or, you know, talking to your friends, finding that group of students that, you know, they're probably feeling the same thing that you are. It's definitely a challenging time right now, but, you know, there's a lot of online resources and don't be afraid to reach out to a mental health professional or your doctor, you know, they're there to help you. Just make sure you keep talking about it. And what advice do you have for me as the president at Fleming? Is there something that we should be doing here at the college more of, less of? Um, I think, you know, the college has great resources for students. Um, you know, there's the teachers are always there available to talk and um, counselors and everything. Um, but I think, you know, just making sure that students are aware of that kind of incorporating that into maybe their orientation or their first few days, um, especially now during the pandemic, making sure that they're aware that there's resources out there and there's people available to talk. So what are you looking most forward to? Um, well, like this is, it's, it's been a long two years um, for sure. I'm really looking forward to summer getting here, you know, Matt, my spouse, we've been together for 10 years this year and we're hopefully going to plan a trip out east. And that's something that we haven't been able to do 
because of the pandemic and our jobs and our lives have just been so busy um i'm really looking forward and hopefully we can get out east this summer finally and you know spend our 10th year together doing something that we both really want to do vanessa thank you so much um i'm it's such an honor to uh to have you as a fleming graduate and all the great work you're doing we're we're very proud and and thanks for talking to me thank you so much for having me i really appreciate it